Welcome to this demonstration video. So here's the hand mounted on my arm. You can see electrodes here, uh, one on the thumb abductor, a couple of uh, extensors, and a um, uh, flexor and a pronator. Uh, and all together, these give me the possibility to open, close, pronate, sorry, supinate, pronate, um, open slowly, close slowly, supinate slowly, uh, yeah, slowly, and pronate slowly or fast. Let me demonstrate the clothespin test first by moving the clothespins down. Now I will move them back up. Notice that I'm using simultaneous control here. But why do we need proportional control? It's nice to be able to, uh, to do stuff slowly or fast and to grab stuff slowly enough not to crush it. Moving on to SHAP, here is the zipper tab. Yeah, that works. And the screwdriver task. See, the main problem here is that the, uh, the screwdriver isn't at the same angle as my rotation axis. So I have to compensate it a little bit by using my body. Water pouring is difficult. Let us imagine pouring water from a carton. In SHAP though, we're supposed to pour real water from a glass jar. As you see, I'm cheating a little bit by using my body instead of wrist rotation, but this is permitted in SHAP. Pouring from a carton. Although this type of cheating is uh, permitted in CHAP, let us try without cheating that much. Uh, let us use respiration. So let's grab it gently. Grab it. Open it. Open it. Yeah, it works. Finally, let us pick up some coins from the table. In this video, you've seen how our system works in practice and you've seen some of the assessment tools. This research is being done at the Department of Engineering Cybernetics at NTNU in Trondheim, Norway.